Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my memory spread for the week of January 21st through January 27th. As you can probably tell with my voice, I am a little bit sick. I got sick a couple days ago and I'm just kind of recovering, but I really felt like filming. So I'm going to keep this intro really short so I don't have to talk uh, for quite as long. Um, this week I'm going to use this gorgeous foiled kit from Nicole Alexia Designs. And I think I purchased the mini, mini kit format, which only came with these four sheets. Um, and I'm going to go over them really quickly. My order also came with this little sampler which has all of these um, glitter icons and um, quarter boxes, half boxes, flags, etc. and it matches the kit really well so that worked out perfectly. Um, here are the nine full boxes and most of them are foiled if you can see. On this page we have the bottom washi which is also foiled and then we've got washi strips, some half boxes, and a few third boxes on the side. Um, on this page, we have some appointment labels at the top. We have some half boxes, little things, and headers. And then on the last sheet, this is the functional page with all of the um, check flags. We have sidebar trackers all down this side. We have some um, different icons, a movie marquee, some flags, and a weekend banner at the top. I don't know why I went from bottom to top, but that's the order I feel like going in, I guess. But anyways, um, so that is the plan for today. I do have some glitter headers I want to pull in. These ones are silver with like a hollow foil. These are from Hazel Sticker. And I also have this sheet from the Paperly Boutique, which I'm not sure if it's open anymore. But I thought these two colors would match really well. And I did just take off one of each already. And I usually put it like right next to my planning area. So I remember which um, colors I've chosen for the week. And um, yeah, that's it for this intro today. Um, if you're interested in watching me plan, then stay tuned. As usual, I start my spread by placing down my bottom washi, and I really like the one that says let's stay in because I feel like that's perfect for this week. It was kind of a lazy week for us. And then for my sidebar, um, usually I place the quote box in the top corner, but for this week there wasn't a quote box, and so I just picked my favorite full box to use in the corner, and I love that one with the girl in her socks because I just think it looks so cozy. I put down a glitter header and then I used the um, habit tracker to track working out. I then placed down one of the quarter boxes from the little sampler sheet and a Monday through Sunday box to track my happy moments. I pulled in this silver foiled heart from Stella Bow Sticker Co, which used to be student planning. And then I used my pilot brush lettering pen to write in happy moments. At the bottom, I put down a This Week header with the remaining Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners for the week. And this is pretty much how I've been doing my sidebar consistently. I really like this system and I think it works well for me. I then went ahead and placed down some date covers that I found in my collection. These are from Simply Watercolor Co. and actually came in a sampler sheet, um, so they're not foiled like her date covers usually are. But I felt like the color worked really perfectly with this kit, so I decided to pull that in. And then for the flags in the top corner, I didn't really have a flag um, that came in the kit, so I just whited it out. And then I pulled in this silver foiled bow from Stella Bow Sticker Co. just to add a little decoration to that top corner. Then moving to Monday, I first started by putting down the Simply Gilded Bow Washi that I thought matched this kit really well with that lavender color and the silver foiled. And then Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which is a national holiday here in the U.S. Um, so I definitely wanted to mark that. I did not have work that day and I put that on a half box. I pulled in a gold foil heart from White Deer Stationery to mark that. And then um, I used a little strip of, I think it's a Little Things, to mark my breakfast. Um, that toast sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. My writing was a little bit squished and I didn't like that, so I pulled out my undo, which I usually don't do because I'm super lazy, but this week these stickers were glossy and it was impossible to lift up without undo. So anyways, um, I go ahead and lift that up and then I put down another little things and just wrote toast instead of like toast for breakfast, which didn't fit. I then put down a camera sticker from the kit with a film script sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. to mark that I did some filming that day. And then I put down a full box underneath that. I pulled in a car sticker from the kit as well to mark that I drove up to LA to see one of my friends who um, lives up in the Bay Area, but she was in LA for the weekend. So I got to see her for a little bit, which was super nice. We first went to grab lunch at this uh, rice bowl place called Yellow Fever. And so I put that on the full box. That rice bowl sticker is from Paper and Milk. And then we also went and got some margaritas for happy hour. So I used a margarita sticker from Hazel sticker. And then the happy hour script sticker is from paper and milk. 
I drew in a little heart on the side just to take up a little extra space and I thought that was really cute. And then I used a little things to mark that I dropped her off at the airport before driving home. That night I did more filming, so I put down a YouTube button icon from Paper and Milk and then just wrote in film. That is it for Monday and now I'm just moving on to Tuesday. I first started by putting down a today header at the top. That pencil sticker is from Nikki plus three. I really like pulling that in to mark when I have meetings that aren't IEPs. Um, and then later that afternoon, I did have an IEP meeting. So I pulled in that um, silver foiled IEP sticker from Jador Planning. When I got home, I uploaded my plan with me. So I put that on an appointment label, I believe. The upload script sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. And I paired that with an emoji on the laptop and that's from the Coffee Monsters Co. I then put down a glitter header and I found this heart checklist that was, I think, from my collection and I just cut out three hearts from it. Um, I wrote down some errands that I did before I got home and then put down a grocery icon from the Sparkly Studio because I did go and grab some groceries as part of my errands. I put down the full box with the hot chocolate at the bottom. Um, so because some of the full boxes had silver foil and some didn't, I decided to alternate so that I wasn't using like all the foiled boxes in one part of the week. Above the full box, I put down a little things with a shocked emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Because that day I got literally the worst bird poop on my car ever. And it was literally sticking out like an inch because it was so large. Um, so I, for some reason, just wanted to document that because it was ridiculous. And um, yeah, that was pretty much it. So moving to Wednesday, I first started by putting down a full box with the silver foil at the top. Like I said, I was just alternating um, using the boxes with with foil and then underneath that I put down a half box with an IEP flag again from Jador Planning. I really love those and I got those as a gift for my planner friend. Um, that day I did have to make a call to a psychologist who is in Utah because some of my students moved out there so um, I worked really closely with those students so I wanted to call and like let them know what's going on. Um, so that phone sticker is from Bubba Bear Studio. I used another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. I decided to um, use it every other day in my planning so that it's not like too much. And then I put down a third box with a stethoscope sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I did go to the doctors that day. Um, I did a workout when I got home, so I put that on a quarter box. The workout sticker is from Tickled Pink Planning. And then at the very bottom, I used a flag sticker with a relax script sticker from um, that is from Thule Plans to mark that I just kind of relaxed for the rest of the night. Moving to Thursday, I first started by putting down a glitter header at the top, and then I put down this third box with like the stripes on the top and the bottom with a happy princess cat sticker from uh, a shop called Jesse James Design Co., which is no longer open, unfortunately. But um, I use that to mark that I didn't have any meetings on Thursday, which is always very exciting. And then I pulled in a laptop sticker. I think that's from the kit to mark that I worked on reports. Initially, I drew in like those little lines around the word reports, which is something that I do like to do sometimes. Um, but I didn't like how it looked in that context. So I did end up whiting it out. I put down a full box underneath that and then I did do a workout when I got home so I layered a couple strips of washi and I believe that workout sticker came in the kit because the colors match perfectly. Then I put down a glitter half box which I think was actually from my collection and not from the kit um, and I pulled in this date night sticker from Love Shira just because I really love her writing and I've had those stickers for quite a while and have not been able to use it yet um, so I did pull it in on Thursday. Underneath that I used a small stuff header and a two heart checklist that I cut up to mark that I got gas and then we also went to Target to grab a few things and one of the things we got was like cat litter and so I have this perfect cat shopping sticker from Echo Hui Craft Co that I pulled in to mark going to Target. And then moving to Friday, I started by using a quarter box with a silver foiled heart from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to mark that I was really excited it was Friday, TGIF as usual. Um, and then I pulled in this quarter box with a bow paper clip sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark that we had a staff meeting that morning on Friday. I pulled in another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi with a, um, an appointment label, I believe. And then I move to the bottom. 
I first put down a full box at the bottom and then above that I used a half box because I wanted to mark something there. Um, on that appointment label I put down a suitcase sticker and that is from Paper and Milk um, to mark that we packed for the weekend. We actually drove out of town and went to my boyfriend's parents house because we were finally picking up Pokey, my cat. We dropped her off um, back during like Thanksgiving which was so long ago. It was like two months ago. Um, two months is like way too long without my baby. Um, anyways, in the white space in between, I put down a car sticker from Hazel Sticker and a boba sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we got some boba and then drove um, to my boyfriend's parents' house. On the half box, of course, I had a mark that I was reunited with Pokey. So I pulled in this Maru and cat sticker from Paper and Milk to mark how excited I was. Um, she actually was acting really weird towards us because it's been so long since we had her. And so I think she was just really confused at seeing us like back in her life again. So it did take her like a day to warm up to us, which was really hard for me because I just wanted to cuddle. But, you know, she just needed a little time and then she's back to normal. On Saturday, I started by putting down a full box and then I used this, uh, I think it's a third box with some present stickers from Toffee Bananas to mark that we did a belated Christmas celebration with my boyfriend's parents because we didn't get to see them for Christmas this year. And so we kind of did all our gift exchange and um, our usual tradition of like coffee and cinnamon rolls that morning. It was really lovely. Um, I really love that tradition. So it was really sweet that we still got to do it um, after Christmas and um, that coffee sticker is from Sweet Ava's Paper. I then put down a three heart checklist at the bottom because I wanted to mark some things that we did. Um, Saturday was my boyfriend's mom's birthday, so it was perfect that we got to celebrate with her. Um, so I also put down a little things with balloon stickers from Let's Make It Sparkle to mark some things we did as part of um, my boyfriend's mom's birthday. And then above that in the remaining space, I first put down this like barbecue grill sticker from Plants with the Nest to mark that we got teppanyaki for lunch. And then I put down a couple strips of washi with a sleeping girl sticker from plants with finesse as well to mark that i took a nap when i got home because i was like super full and um super tired from all the food it was really hard to write on the washi strips because the um, because it was two stickers and so it was really uneven, but I managed to make it work. And then I did write down some of the things that we did that night as part of um, our little birthday celebration. And I also put down a fire sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. because we did sit outside by the fire, which was always super nice. The balloon sticker was a little bit too large for that space, so I ended up just removing that completely and putting down a glitter header instead. That is all for Saturday, so then moving to Sunday, I started the day by putting down a Today header. Um, I used a bundled up emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. with a sleep in script sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we slept in on Sunday. Um, I used a half box with a car sticker from Simply Me Kish to mark that we drove home. And again, I'm using my Pilot uh, brush lettering pen that I really like. Um, I then put down a full box and used another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. Underneath that, I put down a quarter box with a YouTube binge sticker from Love Shira because it was just a really lazy day when we got home. Um, and then at the very bottom of the day, I did mark that I went to check my PO box and grab some happy mail, which is always exciting. So I used a flag sticker with a happy mail script sticker from Paper and Milk. Before I move on to filling out my sidebar, I did want to make one change. So on Tuesday, I decided that there was a little too much white space there in the top section. So I ended up adding a quarter box at the top to mark my morning meeting and then just replaced the pencil sticker from Nikki Plus 3. That concludes my spread for the week. So now I'm just filling in my sidebar and you can see my phone there on the side. I do use my phone to track like what I do every week. And so when I fill out my sidebar, I just have my phone right next to me so I can reference everything that I did. And um, now I'm just showing you the stickers that I have left over. I definitely have quite a few left over and also doing a quick vid wiggle to show you all the foiling that is in this spread. So that is basically it for this week. I absolutely love how this turned out. The pinks and the purples are so me. Anytime I use a kit with these colors, I just know it's gonna be an amazing week and I'm gonna love it. So of course, this is no exception, especially with the silver foil. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions, if I didn't mention where any of my stickers are from. And yeah, thank you so much for watching as usual and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.